Hello everyone, welcome to number theory lecture 7. So today I'm going to take a question from Euler tuition function which I've discussed in the previous lectures. Now this question was asked in AIME 1983. AIME stands for American Invitational Mathematics Examination. Now the question is purely based on Euler tuition function. The question is if a of n is given with this index, it is given as 6 raised to power n plus 8 raised to power n. The question is find the reminder when a of 83 is divided by 49. So let's start. Now a of n is given as 6 raised to power n plus 8 raised to power n. Now the question is if a of 83 that is equal to 6 raised to power 83 plus 8 raised to power 83. If I divide this number by 49 what will be the remainder? Okay. So let's say x is the remainder and you should know how to write in congruence format. So x is congruent to 6 raised to power 83 plus 8 raised to power 83 modulo the number from which we are dividing that is 49. That means x will be the remainder when I divide this number 6 raised to power 83 plus 8 raised to power 83 by 49. Now if we do it by our regular method, okay, if we simplify this then that will take us a lot of time. So in order to save the time I am going to use Euler tuition theorem. So first of all, let us let me brief you the Euler tuition theorem again. If A and P are two numbers and they are relatively prime that means the GCD of two numbers is one if they are relatively prime then I can say that a raised to power phi of p that is tuition function Euler tuition function is congruent to one modulo p. Now a and p are prime I can do it directly. Now previously I told you Euler tuition phi represents Euler tuition function that is phi of p raised to power k will be equal to here p is a prime so I can write this as p raised to power k minus p raised to power k minus 1. Now here we have the number is 49. Now I can see that 49 and GCD of 49 and 6 is 1. Similarly GCD of 8 and 49 is 1. So I can apply the Euler tuition function theorem here. So first of all I am going to calculate tuition function of 7 square because from 49 we are dividing that is 7 square. So I can write this as 7 square minus 7 raised to power 1. I think that is 49 minus 7 is 42. So using this I can write with 6 and 49 and with 8 and 49 I can write two statements here. The two statements are 6 raised to power 42 should be congruent to 1 modulo 49. Similarly I can write this as 8 raised to power 42 is congruent to 1 modulo 49. But right now the nearest power is not nearest power is 83 nearest power is not 42 so I'll, I can do one thing I can also write this as in order to get into nearest power I can write this as 6 raised to power 84 that is double of this similarly I can write this as 8 raised to power 84 is congruent to 1 and I'm going to use this two equation in the next slide in order to calculate the remainder first now in the previous slide I've calculated two results first and second using Euler tuition function the first result was 6 raised to power 84 was congruent to 1 modulo 49. Similarly, 8 raised to power 84 was congruent to 1 modulo 49. So I'll be using here. So x is congruent to, since the nearest power is 84, I'll try to convert the power into 84 and then remaining. So 6 raised to power, I can write this as 84 multiplied by 6 raised to power minus 1 plus similarly I'll be doing I'll be doing the same here. That is 8 raised to power 84 multiplied by 8 raised to power minus 1 modulo 49. Now I can use first and second result here clearly so I can write this as x is congruent to 6 raised to power minus 1 plus 8 raised to power minus 1 modulo 49. Now I can sense that 6 into 8 will give me 48 and that is close to 49. So I'll, I'll be taking here 6 raised to power minus 1 and 8 raised to power minus 1 common. So if I take 6 raised to power minus 1 multiplied by 8 raised to power minus 1 common inside I'll be getting this as 8 plus 6 because again if you multiply you'll get up the same thing multiplied by modulo 49. Now I can write this as x is congruent to 8 plus 6 is 14 multiplied by I can multiply this and I can write this as 48 raised to power minus 1 modulo 49. Now since I can write this as 48 as x is congruent to 14 multiplied by I can write this as minus 1 raised to power whole raised to power minus 1 modulo 49 and in the end I can write this as 
x is congruent to minus 14 modulo 49. Since the reminder cannot be negative, so I, I'll, I'll do one thing here. I'm going to add 49 here. That will give me my reminder. That is x is congruent to 49 minus 14 modulo 49. And in the end, my answer will be, I can write this as x is congruent to 35 modulo 49. So my final answer will be 35 is my reminder. And that will be all.